It's Miniature Monday, and do you know where your miniatures are? Today, boys and ghouls, we have the Bullet. It's basically some sort of weird land shark creature. Um, kind of looks like a sea monster. And it's got a clear base, like it's emerging from water. But this is what one looks like. Um, never experienced one in, um, never experienced one of my D&D games from the past. So, you know, I'm really not sure of the ecology of this. It would probably help if your humble narrator would actually go off and do his research before doing a video. But this is about the miniatures. Um, you're going to have all sorts of folks in the comment section below. Probably a little meant about how they lost a character or two to these. Um, in fact, how about this? Here's your chance. If you lost a character and it's on your mind right now, somebody you played in any one of your D&D games, give it a shout out to that character in the comments below. Let's do that. Let's keep it, you know, let's make it about your character. So put a shout out to that character below. So here, here's to, uh, here's to Lord Myron Cuntworthy, who was attacked and killed by hellhounds outside of a evil town because he refused to go in due to his alignment. And the DM was a dick and kept on rolling random encounter tables every time I stayed, I slept outside. So here's out to Lord Myron Cuntworthy. So uh, rest in peace, dear hero, rest in peace. Anyway, back to the bullet. So I paid $5 at my local game store that uses fluorescent green tags. And, uh, you know, if you live in the Portland area, it's pretty damn obvious what that place is. It's Guardian Games right there on Southeast Grand in Portland, Oregon. Not a bad shop. So they changed hands owner-wise, but... They still have the same staff, and I, I like those guys a lot. They're they're pretty cool. So they uh, they sincerely ask if when you're looking for something, they can help you find something, and then actually do everything they can to help you find what you're looking for. And so I appreciate them. There you have never really done me wrong. So this is what your boulet looks like, or your boulet. Um, I like it. It's pretty detailed. I'm going to have some fun painting this. Um, I like the armored carapace on the back. Uh, that's pretty cool. It makes it look like um, sort of like a ginormous, I don't know, like a ginormous uh, armadillo. So uh, a ginormous Arizona speed bump is what this fellow looks like. However, if you probably tried to hit this with your, uh, your uh, truck, it would probably, you know, chew your bumper off and probably use you to wipe its ass so um <laughs> so that being said for five dollars it's a hell of a miniature it's the same value that you would expect from a whiz kids unpainted model of the Nolzer's marvelous miniature variety um keeping this one short that's okay because i don't have ads you ever notice that you get to watch one of my videos and not have to worry about ads is because, well, yeah, I don't have enough subscribers to be monetized. So why the hell would I monetize it? You might as well just get straight to the content. And that's what that is. So if you enjoyed the video, I encourage you to give it a thumbs up. If not, and you sleep with my ex-wife or are my ex-wife, give it a thumbs down. You don't want to be in that group, trust me. And, um... Yeah, if you want to subscribe to this video and help me on my long uphill trek to a thousand subscribers, feel free to hit that subscribe tab. As always, thank you for watching and happy gaming.